is Pixel, and I'm very excited to bring you an unboxing and first look at a couple of really cool new Edelchrome products. Now, they sent this to me as a gift. They sent me a couple of goodies as a gift, um, but I want to make it very clear. I've done numerous Edelchrome unboxings and reviews of different products in the past. Every single one of them were done of my own volition. I decided to do them. I wasn't, I've, I've never been sponsored by Edelchrome as far as that goes. And all of my opinions have always been my own unbiased opinions. And all of the links in the descriptions of all of those videos are not affiliated. They were just links to go and purchase it if it was something that interested you. Why did I do that? Well, I work with audio video companies all the time. Lighting, amps, DACs, headphones, uh, uh, cameras, camera equipment, motion equipment, monitors, you name it. I've got a whole studio full of stuff here. And Edelkrone to me is the number one company I've ever had the pleasure of working with. Second to none. And I don't care what other products I review in the, in the future. They, in my opinion, have set the bar for quality, longevity, warranty, and customer service that is incomparable. When I did those reviews is because I want to promote a company that sets an example for everybody else. And that's why I've done it, okay? So this is no exception. They sent this to me as a gift, but they didn't ask for a review of it. It was just a gift. It was a gift actually from, Ugh. Dear Adam, I'd like to personally thank you for being a loyal Edelkron user. We hope you like your gift, Asude Erekman. So Asude, thank you very much. And the first thing they sent me was a t-shirt, an Edelkron t-shirt. I haven't taken it out of the box, but it'll either fit or it'll be too short. It'll give me my, my it'll give me a Todrick Hall look or it'll be too big and I'll get that gamer geek look. I don't know, but being six foot three, it's almost impossible to get clothes that just fit nice. But this is definitely a nice quality and I will proudly wear it. Second thing they sent me, and this is actually a very, uh, a very thoughtful gift. <laughs> what I'm gonna get a lot of use of. This soft case, yeah, it's a soft case for the Jib One. This is going to be a lifesaver for me because the Jib One is a, it's a very sturdy, heavy, heavy device. And because I use, I use my, my motion control stuff, my Edelkron stuff every single day, I usually just leave it set up in that regard. Um, it's not a big deal to take apart and put away, but it just saves me a couple of minutes just having it set up, batteries, turn it on and go. So this actually allows me to store it in a much more, in a, it doesn't force me to store it in a place in the back where I don't accidentally bump it. I can just zip it up in the case and I'm good to go. And it's made of this lovely, good quality canvas material. It's got a little Edelkrone keychain thing on it. You can see it right over here. Very cute little thoughtful thing. Um, and nice quality zippers. <clears throat> and inside, it's got a couple of thoughtful little design things. One of the things I love about Edelkrone products is they, they kind of, they kind of think of everything. Like I just got an amp from uh, RME, the RME ADI2. And you read the user manual and you look at the product and you can tell that they're passionate about what they produce. That like even the way it's written, it's like, we're so excited that we managed to do blah, blah, blah. It's not written in a clinical, very, uh, you know, kind of like a uh, clinical kind of typical user manual. You can tell that they have passion behind it. And Elkron, you can tell, sit down and really nerd out over every little si si silly detail. Like things like, little pouches for batteries and stuff like that in case you want to carry them or the fact that the velcro straps are elastic they actually have a little bit of an elasticity to it to give it a little bit of extra give and grab little thoughtful nuances a little tip to edelkron for future for the future when you're making this case i have a cat a himalayan named link he's quite famous to me according to me and uh this is a little bit of a lint magnet. I can see how this might be picking pick up on a lot of uh, lint moving forward. So maybe a fabric that might be a little bit less staticky. I imagine that this, I've already had to kind of brush it off a couple of times, but as far as the quality and the usability of this, that's going to be a daily pleasure of mine. Now, la pièce de résistance, the brand new, let's get it here in the middle of my thing, the brand new Pen Pro. Now, I'll be honest with you. When I first heard the announcement for this, I thought to myself, that just sounds to me like a glorified head one, right? Pan, all it does is pan. I didn't kind of get the point of that when they have the, the head plus and the head one and the tilt kit and all these different things that could do these things. I didn't see the point of this product until 
I saw a couple of reviews online, some of which I'll link below because there's a lot of co great reviews out there that um, that showed what this thing is actually capable of doing. And that's when I got stoked about it. So when Edelkrone told me that they were sending over one as a gift, I was like, hell yeah, bring it over. So let's undo the plastic with my thumb remover over here, which one day it'll actually do. And like every Edelkrone product in the past that I've ever unboxed, it's like an Apple. They, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they, if they kind of got some of their unboxing cues from Apple. It's this nice, thick, high quality box. I've still got all the old boxes. They're very lovely. And I imagine if this is a typical Edelkrone product that it's gonna be suction cup. There you go. And a nice user's manual inside, as you can see like that. With this nice glossy lettering, it's always very pretty. And from what I've come to understand, it's got multiple different uses. So this, I definitely, for this particular product, I definitely recommend checking out the user manual and uh, familiarizing yourself with just how many different uses this has. Now, this is designed to handle a significant amount of weight for specific purposes. Ooh, the box is a little bit different than I'm used to here. This is really nice. It's got this kind of nice sponge insert. Even the sponge is nice quality. I mean, you really, it doesn't smell like anything. I've had other products in the past that you unbox them and you smell it. And you could tell the person who works in the ship in the, in the packing facility smoked cigars or something like that. Like, well, it smells like a Cuban cigar that is. Now, Allen keys. I've got a ton of, a ton of Allen keys and the, I have, uh, if you ever purchase Edel Chrome products, you'll notice that they, they can get this little magnetized Allen key holder that I have on the side of my tray over here that I have all my stuff on my wires and my screwdrivers and stuff like that. So you can just clips right in and I find that really, really practical. Now here we go. And the first thing I'm noticing, the first thing, let's get it up close to the camera. The first thing I'm noticing is it has a button, a power button here. Um, if you check out my slider, uh, my slider plus Pro V5 with the slide module V3, it's one of the, it's the first Elochrome product that I've purchased, I purchased, it wasn't sent to me, that I purchased that has a power on off feature. That is an absolute lifesaver because one of the big gripes that people have about Elochrome products is the fact that you have to use a battery for all of them, okay? Um, which it's not the end of the world, but if you're not used to it, if you haven't gotten yourself into the habit of taking the battery out when you're finished shooting, you will inevitably leave it on and it's gonna drain the battery. Just prepare for that fact. So the fact that they've got that is actually quite quite handy. And you can see this has also got one too. And it's actually got a different power power button than the Slider, uh, Slider Pro V5 has. Ooh, this is heavy, holy smokes. Um, um, this is actually has a more robust power button. I imagine maybe they took a design cue from feedback from the slider, the slide module V3 that has a small round button. Not that it's a big deal, but this, this feels more like a substantial power button. And it's taking the LP6 batteries, which they were kind enough to send me. Wasabi, so very thoughtful. Thank you for sending the batteries. You never know. Here we go. Now, I don't know if they're actually charged yet. Here's the little charger. I have plenty of charged batteries already at my disposal because I use these things every day. So there's the charger. A little plug for Wasabi as well. They make great, if you're looking for um, for inexpensive uh, Canon batteries, because it takes the Canon LP6 batteries, um, I definitely recommend Wasabi. They work just as good as the Canon ones and cost about 50% 50 per, 50 less than the, ca the Canon ones are very overpriced in my opinion. When I had the, I, my first, ca the camera I had before my Sony's was the, uh, uh, the ADD, the Canon ADD. Very good naming right there. Not ADD, but AT. D, not that it matters. And their batteries are way too expensive. It took these ones. So there we go. Now, let's set this bad boy up. All right, we're back. It's the next day. Merch and all, I hope you like. Um, uh, I had to stop recording yesterday. I love my neighbors. I have, I have the most wonderful Portuguese neighbors next door, but he's always renovating his damn house. So that, right? <laughs> so it's starting to get noisy, but that actually isn't a bad thing. I use the controller all the time for most of my stuff because I just like to set it from here and I find this is a little bit more precise. I'm not a huge fan of the controls on the app, the Edelkron app, I find it's kind of flimsy. But um, because of that, it doesn't, I, I have to remind myself to use the app once in a while to do the firmware updates and I hadn't updated the firmware. So when I first plugged in, first set this thing up, I was like, <gasps> nothing's working. But then I realized, launched the app, it firmware updated and everything was working perfectly. All right, so I have it set up on a tripod right now. 
Here's our beautiful new Pen Pro over here. And I'm gonna set it up in its first config configuration. Now, important to note, there's a locking mechanism here on the side, okay? And it's robust, you have to give it a little bit of force. These, these things are designed to be able to handle heavy equipment. So remember to unlock it. And there's a, if you look underneath, there's you can use an Allen, uh, an Allen screw right on the bottom, there's a screw hole, and you can adjust the tension underneath it. And you want it tight enough so that uh, it catches, the, so it actually catches and moves whatever it is you're trying to move. Uh, and a heavier rig will need you to tighten it a little bit more, but not too tight because then you won't be able to turn it manually. So it's pretty easy to set. I find there's other devices that kind of had to really get it in that perfect little sweet spot to get it to work perfectly. In this particular case, it's been working fine. And uh, just take note of those two things. Now, if I want to lock this, it locks at different intervals. So the one really nice feature of this is the fact that I can manually set this and then set a key. I don't have to use the app to have it to, to do it uh, with the app itself but I can set this and you can feel different grooves like that, like that. So I can lift it up and then it locks here and it locks at different intervals. So depending on how you have it set up. Now let's get this up and running. I've got a Manfrotto Pro head on this. I can't remember the, the, the actual make of this one specifically, um, but I love this system because I have three, two, three clips on everything. Manfrotto RC2 clips. I use these on everything on my, on this, I have it on my overhead rig. I have it on my on my uh, flex tilt head over here. I've got it on these tripod heads. So when I want to set up my cameras, and it's interchangeable between my two different cameras. So clip, battery, stick it in. Now it comes with a DC cable, as I mentioned. It's got the little DC in right over here, and a link cable in case you want to do time lapses and stuff like that. Um, but I love the fact that this uses a battery system because then I don't have to walk around with battery. I just walk, I just grab some batteries and go and I can use this anywhere, indoors or outdoors. Generally, I use this indoors though. I, I do most of my stuff in studio and it's it's plugged in. It's It's got the battery, but remember it's got a power button too. So if you put the battery in, if you're used to the other devices and you go and you go, it's not working. It's not recognizing. It's because you have to power it on as well, which I think is an awesome feature. And it says here, idle, not paired. Now, one of the things you might have noticed if you're astute is the fact that uh, it didn't make an audible beep like the other ones did. I don't know if that's my device. I don't know if that's a setting. I don't know if that's by design. I'm not sure. I mean, I can still visually see it, but I don't get the audible cues that I've been getting with the other one. So I don't know what that means, but it's turned on. And now I'm going to pair it with my controller. Turn it on little Elkron logo and pair and connect pan pro. There she is. Connect, make sure it's unlocked. It's unlocked. She's good. And pen plug and play pretty straightforward. Set a key. Now you're going to notice no sound when I set the key. So I don't know what that I don't, I, I can see it, but I can't hear it. There you go. I will get in touch with Elkron to find out as far as that goes. So you go. So I've set it. Now I can just go from one to two. Now you might think this is kind of like, why would I do that? Well, it's actually can be very practical. Imagine you're, for instance, a, a wedding photographer, or if you want to do a video of a birthday party or something like that, and you can just set it to go back and forth between two keys. So I'm going to set the, the speed to let's say around, say around 30. And a good standard slow in and slow out, or it's called acceleration here, how much it eases in and eases out. Uh, a good standard is just set it to 50 on 100. That's actually quite, it actually gives you a nice kind of controlled smooth in and smooth out. It's fine. If you want it to be extra smooth then you can adjust it accordingly. But in this case, I'm just going to hit the one and two together and it'll loop back and forth. And I have my coffee, I can have my coffee, talk, no big whoop. And you can see this, this thing doing its thing. Key is to that. So there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna press the button to stop it. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna try another Manfrotto head here, and I'm gonna put this one on. And the reason I'm showing you this one is because there's a bit of a design difference in this in this tripod head that's noteworthy. Now, I'm gonna lock it just to make sure that I can tighten the tripod head properly. Where are you? Where are you? Ah, there we go. It takes a little bit of force. 
There you go. So it's locked in place. Now I've already set this before. One of the things you're going to notice, it's got a little handle here on the side. If I have this handle set here, it's not going to have enough clearance. If I try to level this out, that handle is going to hit the thing because it's the, the actual screw is, is here, right over here on this end. So you can see that this end is wider and this end is shorter from the, from the center bolt right over here. So that's not going to work. I can't actually get it to be perfectly level. So I'm going to rotate it like this so that this whole three quarters of the pen pro has less clearance. So this, this will clear it perfectly fine. And now I can adjust it. I love this tripod head. It's great for setting a shot. It's great for macro photography, all that kind of fun stuff. There you go. Really micro adjust it and we're all set. And because it's got the same system, We're all set, okay? So I'm not gonna show you the same move. It's already set, but it's perfectly fine. Now, I experimented with all my different setups as far as that goes. And I tried first to do it with the entire flex tilt head system. Okay, so two head ones plus the flex, flex tilt system. It won't work. It doesn't work with that system for some reason. I don't know why. Well, it makes sense not to use the head one in its horizontal orientation because that essentially makes it two pens, one on top of another, which is redundant and stupid, right? But I tried it again. I'm going to show you. I'm going to try to set it up just with the tilt head, just with the tilt kit, which you would imagine should be compatible. Now I'm going to set this up on top, just the tilt, not the, not the pen. I don't know if this is something they might be able to do with the firmware update because I, I, it would be nice to be able to have, you know, to set a pen and a tilt simultaneously. That would make sense. Now I'm, 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 I'm re-plugging in the batteries just to reset it. You're going to hear an audible beep. There. But you're not going to hear an audible beep on the Pen Pro for what it's worth. I don't know why. Now, plugged it in and turn it on. She's good. And I'm going to hit the little pancake button. If you want to see the review for the Edelkron controller, you can see right here. Note that they just firmware updated it, it up, firmware updated it. That's English. I firmware, firmware updated it <laughs> uh, to help with the battery. Because I noticed one of the things I mentioned in my review is that the battery just drained quickly. It didn't actually drain as fast as you think though. The battery indicator drains very quickly. But the battery itself, I found actually could even on low, it still lasted for two or three sessions. So I think it might've been a bit of an indicator issue. They did address it, albeit 10, 15% difference at most. It's not a huge difference, but I do notice it lasts a little bit longer. So I click on the little pancake menu and I go to switch setup and then I press and hold the middle button, the little donut button and that resets it. And then I go parent connect and it says, select products you want to bundle and press right. And Pan Pro head one, tilt and I hit right can't combine selected devices into a thing so for reason, some reason it's not compatible with the tilt I don't know why not that it's a huge deal but it would be nice to be able to get pan and tilt simultaneously so we can see that 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 configuration for now isn't working but we'll see if there's an update that addresses that later on so we know that that won't work there we go even if it's just a tilt head now notice a little man Frodo clip here. So when I do want to use this, there you go. See, so that's why I put these man Frodo clips on everything. When you're, when you work, do a lot of videos and you're constantly switching gear up, that is a lifesaver. I can't stress that enough. Now let's get the big boy into the room because this is where things get really exciting. All right. Now that we've got everything set up, one of the things that is absolutely remarkable about this, what is exciting about this, this is why I nerded out with it is because when you were using the jib alone, it can go in two axes. So, uh, uh, but it also does work with the, with the tilt head as far as that goes. So what this allows you to do is to be able to get the jib to work in a certain direction and the tilt can kind of follow it like that. So you can stay on target, but it's in one orientation. And if I want to switch it and move it, let's say for instance, to have, uh, to go on a little bit more of a diagonal, I have to unscrew it, tilt it over, screw it back in, readjust this and blah, blah, blah. Now, I've been completely happy with it and I've produced some, some shots that I'm incredibly proud of using that system. But when you add the Pan Pro into this, 
it unlocks a lot of things that couldn't before. For instance, one of the things you couldn't do before is have the pan and tilt when using the flex tilt head. When you're using the head plus, you can. But with the flex tilt head that requires two different heads here, you only had access to tilt with the jib. Now with the Pan Pro, it allows you to get, it, it recognizes the jib in the Pan Pro and the head and tilt of the head separately. So now you've got the jib swinging back and forth in any orientation you want, and you've got both pan and tilt. So you've got full access to, to for full versatile access here. Yeah, I guess that's English. So watch this. I set a key. It's already set up. I've already synced everything. Now, because I'm using the head, because I'm using the flex tilt head and not the head plus, if I was using the head plus, I could just set it manually, everything, set a key, set it manually. So it definitely saved me a bit of time, but here I have to do the pan and tilt of the head separately, but you can see that it's working. And for anybody who's worked with the system, this is probably exciting you right now. I'm going to set the first key. Now the second key, I'm going to move it, let's say here, and I want to look down at the flower. <clears throat> Pretty pointless shots, but you get the idea. It's just for fun. So this is gonna look down at the flower, pose two. Now I'm gonna come back down over here. Notice that the pen and the jib are both working manually. I'm gonna bring it nice and low. And now when it comes to uh, to when, I, when I'm just setting two shots, I'm not doing sequencing like this. I prefer to use the, the controller the reason I'm doing this is to demonstrate how many keys you can get. This is a very important, this is a very big deal. When you want to sequence shots going from one spot to the other, like that, having access to, to six basically means that, you know that, that, that $16 million device that Marcus Brown Lee was, was demoing? It's obsolete. It's obsolete now. We have this. We don't need their high-tech garbage robot stuff. It's a robot. <laughs> robot schmobot. Welcome to the future. There you go. But with a little bit of Photoshop, with a little bit of Premiere editing and playing with speeds and stuff like that, if you want to get these quick shots like that, you can do that with this. I mean, this this crap really excites me. Now let's go back here, all the way over to this end, and I was kidding about Marcus's robot, by the way. It's pretty dope. But come on, right? So four poses and let's go for a fifth pose over here. I'll come back to the flower, bring it back down. There you go. We're good. And set five. Now I can go into, the, now that I've done this, I can go pose one. Nice and smooth, very quiet. See, out of all of this, I'd say the one thing making the most noise out of this device, I think is here but that is barely audible. Like I can just barely hear the motor on the, on the jib. There's one. Let's increase the speed a little bit. Let's set it to around 65. The ease is set to 50%. Two. Three. Come on, come on, this is cool. Ugh. Three. I'm gonna have so much fun with this. You have no clue how much fun I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing some crazy stuff with this. Oh, three. Oh yeah, be careful. This is a G, you got shit swinging around, so make sure you've got enough space for this stuff. Three. And four. Four was over there, I believe. Can't remember. You can always take a picture of it if you need to, just so you can remember which shot's which. I didn't do that for this. because I have the memory of, I have a terrible memory. A really bad memory. What was I talking about? Bah, probably wasn't important. <laughs> Meanwhile, you see a monster running away with my baby outside, you know? Yeah, okay. uh, nah, I'm sure it was nothing. So I'm personally extremely excited about this. Again, Edelkron sent this to me as a gift. But this is an honest opinion. I think this is dope as hell. I'm really excited about this and I'm, I'm very excited how this is basically unlocked a bunch of different features for my existing my existing uh, setup here. So, golf clap, Edelkron. Beautifully done. Beautiful quality, works perfectly right away. I'm surprised because usually there's always firmware issues with new stuff. And uh, yeah, 
highly recommend. <laughs> what can I tell you? This is really cool. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. And um, you can check the description below for other Edelkrone reviews. All right. Take care.